in the name of Allah, the most compassionate, most merciful. Indeed, we have granted you a clear triumph, O Prophet, so that Allah may forgive you for your past and future shortcomings, perfect his favor upon you, guide you along the straight path, and so that Allah will help you tremendously. He is the one who sent down serenity upon the hearts of the believers so that they may increase even more in their faith. To Allah alone belong the forces of the heavens and the earth. And Allah is all-knowing, all-wise. So He may admit believing men and women into gardens, under which rivers flow, to stay there forever and absolve them of their sins. And that is a supreme achievement in the sight of Allah. Also, so that He may punish hypocrite men and women and polytheistic men and women who harbor evil thoughts of Allah. May ill fate befall them. Allah is displeased with them. He has condemned them and prepared for them hell. What an evil destination. To Allah alone belong the forces of the heavens and the earth. And Allah is almighty, all-wise. Indeed, O Prophet, we have sent you as a witness, a deliverer of good news, and a warner, so that you believers may have faith in Allah and His Messenger, support and honor Him, and glorify Allah morning and evening. Surely those who pledge allegiance to you, O Prophet, are actually pledging allegiance to Allah. Allah's hand is over theirs. Whoever breaks their pledge, it will only be to their own loss. And whoever fulfills their pledge to Allah, He will grant them a great reward. The nomadic Arabs, who stayed behind, will say to you, O Prophet, We were preoccupied with our wealth and families, so ask for forgiveness for us. They say with their tongues what is not in their hearts. Say, who then can stand between you and Allah in any way? If He intends harm or benefit for you, in fact, Allah is all aware of what you do. The truth is, you thought that the Messenger and the believers would never return to their families again, and that was made appealing in your hearts. You harbored evil thoughts about Allah and so became a doomed people. And whoever does not believe in Allah and His Messenger, then we surely have prepared for the disbelievers a blazing fire. To Allah alone belongs the kingdom of the heavens and the earth. He forgives whoever He wills and punishes whoever He wills. And Allah is all-forgiving, most merciful. Those who stayed behind will say, When you believers set out to take the spoils of war, let us accompany you. They wish to change Allah's promise. Say, O Prophet, you will not accompany us. This is what Allah has said before. They will then say, In fact, you are driven by jealousy against us. The truth is, they can hardly comprehend. Say to nomadic Arabs who stayed behind, You will be called to fight against a people of great might, who you will fight unless they submit. If you then obey, Allah will grant you a fine reward. But if you turn away as you did before, He will inflict upon you a painful punishment. There is no blame on the blind, or the disabled, or the sick for staying behind. And whoever obeys Allah and His Messenger will be admitted by Him into gardens under which rivers flow, but whoever turns away will be subjected by him to a painful punishment. Indeed, Allah was pleased with the believers when they pledged allegiance to you, O Prophet under the tree. He knew what was in their hearts, so he sent down serenity upon them and rewarded them with a victory at hand, and many spoils of war they will gain. For Allah is almighty, all-wise. Allah has promised you believers' abundant spoils, which you will gain. So he hastened this truce for you. And he has held people's hands back from harming you. So it may be a sign for the believers 
and so he may guide you along the straight path. And there are other gains which are beyond your reach that Allah is keeping in store for you. For Allah is most capable of everything. If the disbelievers were to fight you, they would certainly flee. Then they would never find any protector or helper. This is Allah's way, already long established in the past, and you will find no change in Allah's way. He is the one who held back their hands from you and your hands from them in the valley of Hudaybiyah near Mecca after giving you the upper hand over a group of them, and Allah is all-seeing of what you do. They are the ones who persisted in disbelief and hindered you from the sacred mosque, preventing the sacrificial animals from reaching their destination. We would have let you march through Mecca had there not been believing men and women unknown to you. You might have trampled them underfoot, incurring guilt for what you did to them unknowingly. That was so Allah may admit into His mercy whoever He wills. Had those unknown believers stood apart, we would have certainly inflicted a painful punishment on the disbelievers. Remember when the disbelievers had filled their hearts with pride, the pride of pre-Islamic ignorance. Then Allah sent down His serenity upon His Messenger and the believers, inspiring them to uphold the declaration of faith, for they were better entitled and more worthy of it. And Allah has perfect knowledge of all things. Indeed, Allah will fulfill His Messenger's vision in all truth. Allah willing, you will surely enter the sacred mosque in security, some with heads shaved and others with hair shortened, without fear. He knew what you did not know, so He first granted you the triumph at hand. He is the one who has sent His Messenger with right guidance and the religion of truth, making it prevail over all others. And sufficient is Allah as a witness. Muhammad is the Messenger of Allah, and those with him are firm with the disbelievers and compassionate with one another. You see them bowing and prostrating in prayer, seeking Allah's bounty and pleasure. The sign of brightness can be seen on their faces from the trace of prostrating in prayer. This is their description in the Torah, and their parable in the Gospel is that of a seed that sprouts its tiny branches, making it strong. Then it becomes thick, standing firmly on its stem, to the delight of the planters. In this way, Allah makes the believers a source of dismay for the disbelievers. To those of them who believe and do good, Allah has promised forgiveness and a great reward.